Shana Tova. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Troy Meyerson, and I am honored to stand before you for the second Kol Nidre uh, as your president, the president of this great congregation. I've been thinking a lot about transition lately. You see, my oldest daughter, Ainsley, recently started her freshman year at the University of Michigan. College is a big transition. She's now living in a new city without her family and close high school friends. She's figuring out how to get around in a new town, where her classes are located, and where the good places are to study and eat, and probably not in that order. She is meeting many new people and trying to remember names. She's having an amazing time, but she's also trying to figure out the lay of the land for this new chapter in her life. As I sat recently thinking about the ups and downs of this time in Ainsley's life, it hit me that the Sharfs are going through a similar transition right now as well. They are going through this transition with their entire family trying to get five people settled and comfortable in new surroundings. The difference for them is that not everyone around them is going through the same thing at the same time, like is the case for a first-year college student. That being said, the Sharfs aren't the only ones here that are going through a transition. This congregation is going through transition also. Temple Israel has been in transition for the last 18 months. That transition hasn't been bad, it has just been change, which can sometimes lead to a feeling of unsettledness for some, maybe anxiety for others, and even a feeling of disconnectedness for others. After all, many of us have been a part of this congregation for a long time, and it can feel uncomfortable to not have history with some or all of our clergy. I think it is important to recognize that the Sharfs, that the Sharfs are only just beginning their tenure in Omaha and at Temple Israel. They are doing a wonderful job, but it takes time and effort to build long-term relationships. One of the many ways I have been extreme, extremely proud of this congregation during the past year is under the support and direction of the Transition Committee, led by Lori Sullivan and Jess Cohn, tonight's candlelighters. As a congregation, we have come together to welcome, introduce, and integrate the Sharfs into our community through a variety of planned events hosted by a number of generous congregants. These events have been an important start to help the Sharfs get to know people in our congregation. I would like to thank all of you who have hosted or participated in these gatherings. Our welcoming will continue into the fall through a new initiative where individuals will host Rabbi Sharf and a small group of congregants in their homes for an evening of conversation. Through these conversations, Rabbi Sharf will hear our personal stories and learn what is important to each of us. In turn, congregants can learn more about Rabbi Sharf and begin to build and nurture this important relationship. If you would like to attend one of these conversations, please reach out to Sally Kaplan or Cindy Goldberg, our chairs for this initiative. Last year at Kol Nidre services, I challenged each of you to get involved at Temple in some way that is meaningful to you. Through your involvement and help, and the help of our talented clergy and professional staff, we had some amazingly successful programs and events. I don't want to recount each and every program and event that we put on last year, nor do you want to hear about every event we put on last year. But I do want to note a few programs and events that were either new, new-ish, or one-of-a-kind last year. For starters, we had an amazing Tosh Leak service down at the Gene Leahy Mall, and because of its success last year, we did it again this past Friday 
and had an even bigger turnout the second time around. It has been a great change of pace to be downtown in our new riverfront park for Tosh Lake. We had wonderful events, programming, and dinners for Sukkot, Hanukkah, Purim, and Passover last year, including an improv group performance, an astronomer speaker, a whodunit mystery evening, and a Jurassic Park themed event. Please keep an eye out for this year's holiday events. We put on our first, at least in a long time, overnight women's retreat at the Lead Lodge in Nebraska City for almost 60 women. This was a great opportunity for a group of our women congr congregants to get together and discuss topics involving mind, body, and spirituality. We also welcomed the Jewish community and the greater Omaha community into Temple Israel to hear Maestro Francesco Latoro and his talented Italian vocalists, accompanied by the Omaha Symphony for the Concert of Lights. This event was envisioned and spearheaded by Susie Cohn and in partnership with Cantor Alexander was brought to fruition. It was an amazing event and a great opportunity to welcome people from all over the city into Temple Israel to hear music recovered from the Holocaust. TriFaith just had its second annual United We Walk fundraiser here on our campus. This event is the principal fundraiser for TriFaith, and this year was even more successful than the year before. The energy at this walk is inspiring, and I encourage each of you to try to come next September to the walk here on our campus. This year, we also have had capital improvements to the TriFaith Garden area. The produce from the garden continues to thrive and supply several local pantries with thousands of pounds of fresh vegetables during the growing season. And lastly, during the second half of the year last year, the Board of Trustees started its coffee and conversation drop-ins. One Sunday morning a month from 10 a.m. to noon, in the Simon Court, all of you are welcome to stop by, have a free cup of coffee, and discuss whatever is on your mind about Temple Israel with the two board members there that month. We will be continuing this program this year, and I hope you, I, and hope you will consider dropping in and talking with us about whatever topics are on your mind. Our special events at Temple Israel do not just happen. They are carefully planned and executed by our talented professional staff and clergy, and we appreciate all that you do for us. So my ask of you this year may sound similar to my ask of you from last year. However, it is a different time and for a different purpose. Last year, we were coming out of the pandemic and looking to reconnect with each other. We were looking to exercise muscles we hadn't used for a couple of years, getting comfortable walking into this building again, working to be comfortable in a room filled with people. We were trying to feel out our new normal. Today, we are looking to start a new chapter in our congregation's storied history. We are looking to integrate our new senior rabbi and his family into our congregation and figure out together what is the next period in our history and what does it look like. Last year's transition was getting through a doorway or climbing a small hill. This year's transition is starting a new voyage or beginning an adventure together. In the spirit of transition and change, I would like to, cha to challenge each of you to find a new way to involve yourself in the life of Temple Israel again this year. We need you. We need your talent, your interest, your involvement, your energy, and your commitment. I challenge you to get involved in at least one new thing at Temple Israel that you are passionate about. I challenge you to jump in and simply get involved. Figure out what is Jewishly meaningful to you and to your family. For some of you, that might be becoming a volunteer with Toby's team and greeting people every so often on Friday nights. 
For others, it might be getting involved with TriFaith and the programming put on throughout our campus. For others, it might be volunteering on a committee or attending one or more of our holiday events. Yet for others, it might be writing letters to senators with the Social Justice Committee. And yet for others, it might be going to Torah study on Saturday mornings or volunteering with our caring committee or engagement committee. And if you don't feel passionate about any of these ideas, which is absolutely acceptable, I encourage you to contact Mindy Marburg to talk with her about what you are passionate about. We have an endless number of ways for you to get involved around here, and I know we can help you figure out what is Jewishly meaningful to you and your family. And before I conclude, I would like to thank my wife, Jamie, for supporting me through my presidency here at Temple. I would not be standing before you tonight without her love, support, and encouragement. I love you. And I'd like to wish everyone Gamar Hatima Tova. May you be blessed. May you be sealed in the book of life. I wish all of you a year full of sweetness, health, and meaning. Thank you. <laughs>